Chick-fil-A is seeing its 42nd consecutive year of growth. And the company continues to expand its chain throughout the country. Joining us now with their recipe for success, especially during these tough times, in an exclusive interview, a father and son we team love it. behind Chick-fil-A, <laughs> Truett and Dan Cathy. Good to see you both. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. It's an uh, honor to be with you. And it's not very often that we are seen in the same place together, so it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. for me as well. Well, yeah. you can you can you know bet that Fox Business gets the full story here. And when I say full, I wish you could see the spread that your folks have brought here, so that we could show people <laughs> uh, what you offer and how it is that you've managed through it to have 42 consecutive years of growth. Give us like that single piece of success for all the entrepreneurs and business people watching. Oh my goodness! What would you say, Dad? Go ahead. Uh, well, you know, I I, I, would, I know that uh, I've heard Dad answer this question a lot of times, and, and I think he and certainly I would agree. It really gets down to people. Uh, you know, the quality and the caliber of your people. We fortunately in our Chick Fil A restaurant operations, uh, we offer a financial deal uh, as a Chick Fil A restaurant operator that attracts thousands of people that are interested and the high caliber of Chick-fil-A leadership that we see in our Chick-fil-A restaurant operators uh, produces high caliber young people who work with us and that makes the food taste even better. So uh, it really all gets down to people and the values and the principles that underlie uh, the business. Well, I, I, I had to drag these people kicking and screaming, I, I got to tell you, because they are very humble. Uh, but again, the customer service, and we have three representatives, I don't know if you can see them there, guys, okay. three representatives of your organization. Customer service is so important. Just this morning, you know, I'm not bad mouthing anybody in particular, but I went to a coffee place that begins with a letter S. Maybe you'll guess which one. And they were rude to me. And they were rude to the people before me and rude to the people after me. You don't see, you don't countenance any of that at your organization, do you? Well, David, I found, you know, that, uh, and we've known Dad's tutored us in this all these years is it's not just about the food, but it's really actually more about really the service. Ben Franklin said that the handshake of the host affects the taste of the roast. And David, well, you like that. to be treated with honor, <laughs> dignity, and respect. And Liz as well. In fact, everybody deserves to be treated with honor, dignity, and respect. And so we've kind of built that into our whole philosophy. We call it second mile service. And it's based on a biblical principle. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 41, Jesus said, if someone asks you to go one mile, go within the second mile. So it's what we call second mile service. Mm. Ooh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying that. to get my daughter to do that with homework. Dan, oh, good luck. <laughs> Dan I'd love to hear uh, your perspective on, on founding this company and running it all, the, all these years. You, you constantly have to be malleable and change when the winds change and we have seen a very cold wind come in last september a year ago uh, what did you do when you saw this happening obviously you were remembering the the depression but when you saw this recession starting did you mass the troops and say we've got to change the menu what what did you do to, to make sure that you didn't go under during these times well fortunately we had enough cushion uh financially in our business and one of the uh, great advantages of being uh, a very low debt company. In fact, we're about to be a no debt company here in the next 36 months, and it's through Dad's uh, encouragement. Gave us a lot of cushion. We really didn't have to change our game plan. We took some safety measures as we went into 2009, but uh, we've continued, very fortunate that we've continued to see sales increases. We'll have about a 9% sales increase this year, and uh, within just a couple of weeks, we will, for the first time ever, hit $3 billion in sales. But I think it's a testament to our restaurant operators and people that just love great food, but they love the great service that goes on as well, despite the economy. People still like to be treated with honor, dignity, and respect. You know, yeah. we have a guy. We, uh, we have a guy here on Fox Business named Dave Ramsey who would applaud you, yes. give you a standing applause for trying to go without debt. That's one of his bugaboos, and we here at Fox agree. We know that. Dave's, that Dave's a great guy. Dan, you were going to comment? Go ahead, Drew. Well, I was thinking about we just train our people. Just treat your customers like you like to be treated when you go out to eat. You like to be greeted with a bunch of smiling faces demonstrate a serving spirit and if a customer happens to say thank you we say my pleasure so it distinguishes us we can meet our highest competition simply because of the quality of our people and the kindness of our people and so people go out to eat quality food but also the 
kindness and service. And we say, courtesy is very cheap, but pays great dividends for us. Do that unto others right. as you would have them do unto you. You know what? Courtesy is very That's cheap. That's right. I wonder where that comes from. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming thank on. Thank you. Uh, we'd like oh, to point out got something there. Eat, eat. Eat more chicken. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, sure. it's a brilliant that is campaign. A, a brilliant ad campaign. Eat Chick fil A. Eat Chick fil A, you, my friend. <laughs> so cute. Well, they're rarely together. Father and son, Truett and Dan. We appreciate I, you. I got to ask, before you guys go, who came up with that idea of getting the cow to talk about eating more chicken? Well, there's a lot of folks like mm. to take credit for it, but the Richards mm. Group in Dallas, Texas, uh, came up with that campaign, and it's been a great winter for us. And we're gonna, Dave, we're gonna milk it till the cows come home. Oh, I love <laughs> you it. You go for it. That's you go great. for it, guys. Thank you so much. And again, thank you. The servers that are here, and you gotta have more. That I guess you only have one restaurant in New York at NYU. You gotta have more in Manhattan. I love this stuff. Well, we're growing. Stay tuned, and we'll come to your rescue. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much, thank gentlemen. Thank you very much. Truett and Dan Kathy, president and founder of Chick-fil-A. Chick Good to see you both guys. Thank, Thank you. you.